California's Dixie Fire has seen exponential growth over the past few days, scorching more than 274,000 acres of land and is only 35% contained. Crews continue to fight fire aggressively and evacuation orders have already been issued for regions in the neighboring Plumas County. Co-host and correspondent for the California Report on KQED, Lily Jamali, joins us to discuss the horrific expansion of the Dixie Fire. Uh, good morning, Lily. Thanks for being here. I mean, give us the latest. What's going on? Yeah, the big fire that a lot of us are tracking out here in California now is called the River Fire. It started just yesterday and has already burned about 1,400 acres. Um, it started in Placer County near the town of Colfax, which is about an hour's drive west of Lake Tahoe. It's already burned about 35 structures that we know of and is threatening thousands more. We've seen thousands of people forced to evacuate, and the blaze has already made its way into the next county over, which is Nevada County. The other fire that, that we're watching really closely is the Dixie Fire. This is a fire that started a couple of weeks ago and uh, unfortunately yesterday destroyed the town of Greenville, destroying several homes and businesses there. As you mentioned, this fire has already burned well over a quarter million acres. And what's really concerning is that it started not far from where the 2018 campfire began. That's the fire that burned much of the town of Paradise down in California, Sierra, Nevada foothills. It killed 85 people and destroyed thousands of homes, displaced tens of thousands of people. And so the concern among officials has been making sure that the Dixie Fire does not re-enter or does not make it to paradise uh, and inflict additional damage because so many people in that town are just starting to rebuild and the situation there is really delicate. So all told, you know, we knew going into this fire season that it was going to be a particularly bad one. At this point, we're in early August. We've already burned more acres so far than we had at this point last year. Last year was up until that point, the worst fire season that California had ever experienced. So you, know, you have a confluence of things coming together, climate change, you have record heat and you know, extreme drought in a number of pockets of the state and all across the West. So all of that is coming together to create these extreme fire conditions. I mean, that footage is just, uh, I, I mean, that library that was burnt down, I mean, these buildings just all, I mean, I couldn't even imagine walking through town and seeing the destruction that a fire can have. And I know these are, they move very quickly. Uh, they are very destructive. They are deadly. I, I've been watching reports of, of people uh, talking about getting evacuation orders. And some of the authorities are saying that people aren't really listening. So what is happening with that? I mean, tell people how quickly does this move and how important are those evacuation orders? Well, the message that we're hearing from fire officials, both at the state and the federal level, is that if you get an evacuation order, you need to heed that order and get out right away. Um, we heard someone from the U.S. Forest Service just yesterday saying that the kinds of fires that we are seeing today in the year 2021 are not normal. These are not normal fires, is what he said. And this is not kind of conditions that they are used to seeing. The whole picture has really changed dramatically over the last half decade or so. So, um, you know, part of it is make sure that people heed the warnings. The other part of it, and I've done some reporting on this, especially last year, um, is whether people are getting these warnings is sort of a whole other layer to this conversation. Um, there is not, frankly, great coordination among state and uh, local agencies. If you think of a community like Santa Rosa, which was burned in 2017 in uh, California wine country in Sonoma County, you know, if you live in a, on the outskirts of that town, you might be getting different and sometimes conflicting messages from the town of Santa Rosa versus the county of Sonoma. And so I think the state has a lot of work to do in terms of making sure that they streamline those messages and give people not just, you know, the information that they need to leave, but give them the resources to figure out how to leave, what routes to, to travel so that they're not exacerbating uh, traffic conditions and potentially putting lives at risk. Well, Lily, we're thinking of you guys out there. Um, hang in there. Uh, stay with it. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. We'll have more Rising. That is coming up after this.